our very own Polly Weldon wrote a song entitled, Bring Your Wood to the Fire, that spoke about the importance of sharing our gifts. Come bring your wood to the fire, your note to the song, your feet to the dance, she sang. What great images to ponder as we celebrate Spirit's continuing fiery living presence this Pentecost Sunday. Today's reading from Acts speaks of how the Spirit fired up the disciples to take action, to go out and preach. She gifted them with the ability to speak in many different languages they didn't know, yet those who were present understood. <clears throat> this morning, we will talk about ways the spirit stirs our inner fire to action and how we are called to unity in the midst of diversity. Although there are unlimited kinds of spiritual fires, I want to focus on three, creativity, transformation, and love, and how God's spirit is alive and moving in each of them. First is the fire of creativity. In the midst of the COVID challenges and restrictions of the last two and a half months, I have noticed a powerful upsurge of creative energy. Birthday and graduation parties have taken on a new style of celebration with beeping drive-bys, people standing through car skylights with colorful signs and decorated vehicles and lawns. Even the happy birthday tune has taken on new life. One of our neighbors turned 40 a few weeks ago, and we serenaded her with a neighborhood sing-along on her front lawn. About five days later, her son turned 10, and we gave a repeat performance. The neighborhood glee club was definitely a movement of the spirit. Creative juices have also spurred our neighbors ranging in age from 11 to 72, to go on hikes together, socially distanced on the trails. We have been able to explore nature preserves in the area we otherwise would not have done. These have been delightful, connecting spirit-filled adventures for the Lindbrook hikers. In areas of service and ministry, the, creative, the Spirit's creative fire has been evident in a number of ways, ranging from making masks, to providing communication, to supplying food. I think of how we as a faith community have been able to connect through Zoom. Spirit's fire burned inside Kathy Shuck as her energy catapulted us into this new and wonderful venture. And our community has brought its feet to the dance by learning this technology and participating fully. Who knew about muting and unmuting before this, right? Good job to all. Ed Burke's burning desire to continue to serve those who are hungry has led Elaine, Chantel, and many others to collect food for those in need. It's a wonderful example of persevering through difficulties while continuing to meet the needs of others. In these diverse experiences of celebration exploration and service. The spirit's fire of creativity, embodied in so many, has brought unity and connection. 
Second is the fire of transformation. A recent article in the sports section of the Philadelphia Inquirer related a story about Reggie Leach, the former Philadelphia Flyers ice hockey player. Does anybody remember Reggie Leach from the Stanley Cup champion days of the mid-1970s? Anybody? A few of us? Okay, good. <laughs> there are a few that remember him. Reggie was an excellent goal scorer with a blistering shot and played professional hockey for 13 years. He also was the first Native American superstar in National Hockey League history. But his story is about much more than sports. It's really about transformation. Throughout his playing days, he drank heavily and was not able to be in recovery successfully until after he went to a rehab facility following his retirement from playing professionally. Now 35 years sober, he is a motivational speaker who teaches both hockey skills and life lessons to young people in Canada and the United States. He talks to youngsters about his missteps and hopes through sharing his story to keep kids away from alcohol and drugs. Leach also wants the young people to understand how important it is to work together. In his words, my son and I teach in First Nation communities and mixed communities. I think it's important that everyone is included and not just First Nation kids. We have to learn to work together in the world to be successful. They stress the importance of working hard, being kind, and getting an education. Reggie says, I'm actually more proud of what I do today than what I did in my hockey career. That's my joy in life, helping young kids along the way. Reggie Leach listened to the transforming fire burning within. He has brought his note to the song by teaching life lessons through sports and sharing his personal story. Reggie speaks a spirit-filled language of transformation. Young people understand. The third fire is love. And I want to share a personal story to illustrate this. Last Sunday, our son Shane and his beloved Kirsty were married. And it was a beautiful celebration of love. The spirit was truly alive among those gathered in person, as well as those on Zoom from other parts of the country and the world. Their ceremony was a lovely blend of Jewish and Celtic traditions. And the oneness we felt in the midst of this diversity was palpable. I felt like it was a Pentecost moment. It was as though each gathered heard the language of their own tradition. Yet the one unifying language was God, love. Shane and Kirsty wrote their own vows and the conviction expressed in their commitment was a fire of love flaming bright for all to see. Afterwards, the comments of those who attended affirmed the inclusivity, diversity, and unity of that moment. I believe 
the ceremony Kirsty and Shane planned and all experienced on their wedding day reflects the oneness the spirit calls each of us to live. They brought their diverse yet unifying wood to the fire of love. And the spirit of God invites each of us to do the same. The Pentecost fires of creativity, transformation, and love are just some of the many spiritual fires burning within that beckon us to action. Perhaps George Floyd's tragic death and the resulting unrest is stoking our spiritual fire for justice and peace and will move us to act. This week, listen to your heart, to its inner fire and what it's stirring you to do. Remember to share your diverse gifts boldly as you bring your wood to the fire, note to the song and feet to the dance of oneness.